Peggy 18. Hello, and welcome to our demo of The Surge. I'm Adam Hattaney, Head of Game Design at Deck 13, and with me is Torsten Lange, our Head of Engineering, who will be doing the driving for us today. Now, the Surge is a hardcore action RPG with a focus on tactical melee combat, scheduled for release in May of this year on PS4 and PS4 Pro, Xbox One, and PC. You may remember from a previous video that The Surge is set in a dystopian near-future version of Earth. The game takes place in the sprawling industrial complex of Creo, a company trying to reverse the globally catastrophic effects of runaway climate change after some sort of disaster has occurred in Creo's primary facilities. So at this point in the game, you know that the section of the Creo complex you've seen so far is just totally messed up. Uh, most of the workers are dead, the ones who are left are crazed, they attack you on sight. So you're on a little bit of a rescue mission here. Uh, the company's leadership is trapped up in the executive levels. They're the ones in charge of all these systems. They might be able to give you some answers, maybe even reverse some of the problems here, uh, but making our way there isn't necessarily going to be very easy. The area we're in now is an abandoned biochemical laboratory where Creo did a lot of the research to develop the compounds that they're now launching into the atmosphere. So combat in the surge doesn't use light and heavy attacks, uh, but rather horizontal and vertical attacks. And the reason for that uh, is because we can target specific body parts of our enemies. You can see Torsten here, he's targeting an unarmored body part that's going to make him do more damage. He's more likely to stagger his opponent, but you can see when he hit an armored part with that last attack, uh, it actually didn't stagger very much and walked through. When you build up enough combat energy, you can do what you just saw him do there. Uh, you can perform a finishing sequence, which chops off the limb, uh, letting you uh, take their armor. You, you learn the schematics, which means you'll be able to go craft that very same armor for yourself uh, back at an op station. Uh, you can also take their weapons, uh, use them right away. But since they're not upgraded yet, they won't be necessarily as good, uh, but you can still try them out right away and then decide what you want to do. Here we have some sort of uh, security unit hunter tracker guy trying to apprehend us. That's not cool. I'm not going to let him do that. So something we really wanted to do with this demo was show off some of the narrative elements of the game. Uh, in the surge, you'll be able to find and interact with a, a number of NPCs, some of whom you'll be able to help. Uh, other others will be able to help you. Uh, but in either case, you'll be able to speak with them to find out more about what's going on here at Creo. Come on over. No need to be shy. I see you're a man of integrity and initiative, and I have a small request to make. Let's see what she has to say. All right. Now listen. I'm sure you're smart enough to realize this area is under lockdown. Quarantine. Whatever goddamn excuse they're using to get at me. I need to get out. We have to break this lockdown, and by we, I mean you. Care to tell me who you are? My name is Dr. Chavez. Melissa. Maybe you've heard of me. And no, I'm not lost. I work here. I think that's enough small talk. Now how about getting me out of here? Good plan. It'd be nice if there were more specifics. I'll put this as simply as possible. Enter the largest of the greenhouses. Look for the main console. It's connected to all the systems in this sector. I'm sure you can figure out the rest. Ask nicely and we have a deal. If I hadn't asked you nicely, you'd have known. Hmm, let me think about it. Don't take too long. There's a bigger picture that you're not seeing. Okay, uh, so this Dr. Chavez, she needs us to end the lockdown in this area. Uh, but all the greenhouses are affected, so I guess we need to go back underground to find another way. We're going to try out another weapon. This is the weapon we cut off the first gentleman that we uh, encountered upstairs at the ground level. Let's see how this guy performs. OK. 
Okay, so again, we're targeting an unarmored body part. A weapon arm one more time. So you can see this plays much more differently from the staff. Um, it's hard, it has big combos, but it's quite a bit slower. It also has different finishing move sequences. All the different weapons have different finishing sequences. So you'll have to try them out, see which ones have the movesets you like the best, which ones are coolest to you personally, fit your style. All right, we're gonna try out the Klinga Power Grip as well. It's a mounted weapon. Please notice, decontamination has been initiated. Hazard response squads have been deployed. For your own safety, avoid the following sectors. Laboratories and the Greenhouse Facility. Okay, so this time we damaged uh, an armored body part. We got the weapon, and then we also got the wrecked gear for, for uh, uh, that particular piece of the body, the arm gear, rhino arm gear, so we'll be able to craft that later. And we also picked up an implant. Uh, implants are really important in the surge. Your exo rig has a certain number of implant slots uh, that you can equip them in. That'll increase the more uh, core power you build up, the more times you level up. And then they all also consume a certain amount of core power while you're using them. So uh, you'll have to decide whether you prefer more passive benefits, you know, more health, uh, more stamina, or more active things like the heals you've seen Torsen using, um, you know, instant energy boosts, uh, combat damage boosts, things like this. You just have to make those choices for yourself. Okay, so Torsen just popped out a drone of his own to fight back against one of these drones shooting at him. Now we mentioned before that we would have a ranged combat system and that's exactly what this is. So uh, your drone, it can be equipped with a, a number of different uh, ability modules, th things that let it do different stuff. Uh, in this case he's used a flamethrower to uh, blast these drones out of the sky. And you really want to keep a lookout for these things. They're really, uh, really interesting. They let you mix up your gameplay, sometimes reach enemies who are uh, a little bit higher than you can strike, things like this. Okay, this elevator's out of order. I guess we need to find somewhere to power it. Looks like a security door. Okay, so we don't have access to go through uh, secure areas yet. We have to get that later and then come back and see what's behind there. It's something that I mentioned in our last video, actually, uh, about the Metroidvanian level design elements that we try to use as much as we can. Uh, there's a lot of areas that you'll come across um, that you won't be able to access the first time that you find them, uh, but when you get the capabilities to access them later, we want you to be compelled to come back uh, and, and you know explore those areas. So. Later when you have a, a security equipped rig that can pass these authorization checks, then you can come back to this area and see what's behind that locked door. Uh, similarly with the, the chest you saw him try to use there, uh, it has a core power level of 80 required to overcharge, which means that you know, you're know you not enough to do it probably the first time you come through this level. But later when you're higher level, you can come back and open that thing uh, and maybe get something nice inside. So we've come through this like plant research laboratory. Looks a little secretive. And now, now we're okay. Now we're in the main greenhouse area. So you remember Chavez mentioned we had to uh, enter the the largest greenhouse and then find a console. So we must be getting pretty close. Oh, hello, friend. That must have been hiding back there. Craft 
that uh, scarab leg gear when we go back home. Let's see Torsten cycling through some of these drone implants. All right, so we just used the infra blaster drone to shoot at this zombie man, pulling him closer without having to go into his area. So uh, the infra blaster is kind of an interesting module for the drone. It actually doesn't cost any energy to use in most cases, so you can always pull an enemy closer to you. Uh, but if you have energy, it'll use that energy to deal uh, a good amount of damage. So you can always use it, but you get a bonus if it uses energy. Yeah, so this definitely looks like the main greenhouse area. It has some sort of like growing room set up. Bunch of plants under these uh, these lights. There's some derelict workers who are not of sound mind anymore, who are defending this place against you. A nice thing to do. And we got a higher weapon proficiency as well. Okay, so we found the main lockdown console. Deactivated. Reinitiating systems. Looks like we've deactivated Attention. the lockdown. Access restrictions for this sector have been revoked. Please go back outside and we can swing around places. and see what else Chavez has to tell us. Oh, but we have some new friends out here. This must be the uh, hazard response squad that was mentioned in that announcement while we were underground. But they appear to consider us contaminated and in need of cleansing by fire, I suppose. You gotta be careful with these guys. Uh, the guys who shoot the uh, gas canisters aren't all that dangerous by themselves. Their gas canisters will deal damage while you're in the radius. But with the fire guys, they're quite dangerous. So the, the gas there is flammable and it'll explode if a flamethrower touches it. And so the way to deal with this, as you can see, uh, is to split them apart a little bit. So Torsen is using the concussive module on his drone to knock these guys away from each other, give himself a little room to work. The explosions will hurt the, the enemies as well, but you can see they're kind of equipped to handle this sort of thing, so it's, it would hurt you a lot more. These guys have a weakness, it looks like. Boom! So their fuel tanks are a vulnerable spot. And if you can get in there, take advantage of it, then you can make them pay. Okay. Threat dispatched. Well done. So, that's the surge. Uh, it's a hardcore action RPG, like I said before, the focus on tactical melee combat, releasing in May on PS4, PS4 Pro, uh, Xbox One, and PC. Thanks again for watching.